Father Melroy is one of the most dynamic and enthusiastic priests that this diocese has the privilege of producing. And Father Melroy is a proud parishioner of Our Lady of Lourdes Parish Orlim, as well as an alumni, alumnus, I'm sorry, of St. Anne's High School, having contributed his time and talents towards the benefit of many a parishioner, not only in Orlim, but also in parishes where he has served. Father Melroy is truly a priest who is an epitome of dedication, dutifully serving in the vineyard of the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, students, Father Melroy. Well, students and ex-students requesting you to please keep silent for the next 10 minutes as we go through our speeches. Okay. Students backstage, kindly maintain silence. Thank you very much. Your Lordship, Bishop Bosco Pena, respected principals, reverend fathers, sisters, my dear teachers, and my dear, dear friends. I say this with uh, all sincerity and a profound sense of gratitude that if I can stand here today without sweat dripping down my brows and a nervous ball of tension right here, it's thanks to my alma mater, thanks to St. Anne's. And I guess you must have realized by now I'm not referring merely to the academic and the intellectual inputs that I've received in my school. I'm referring to the holistic formation that truly formed so many of us with a very deep sense of value systems and have given us that confidence to face life. With uh, the risk of sounding boastful, I'd like to explain what I'm saying by sharing a small experience, sharing one of the many lessons I learned through my journey in school. You know, um, elocution and dramatics, besides art and sports and music, have always been my favorites. And once, when the entire team of St. Anne's, along uh, with me, were accompanying, uh, uh, were representing our school at the inter-school elocution competition, I walked up the stage with extreme confidence, a little bit of overconfidence, I guess. And then, after I had finished the first paragraph, and I was, I believed I was doing excellently, I went blank. I was dumbstruck, and I couldn't believe it. And for the next few seconds of silence, when, which lasted for an eternity, thank you, I didn't know you appreciated it even before I finished. For the next few seconds of silence, which sounded like an eternity, I could see absolutely nothing but a blur. And there, miraculously, in the congregation, in the, in the audience, I seen one of my teachers who had trained me. And she was apparently mouthing something, trying to tell me something. And from what I could hear, I repeated what she said. I said, I'm sorry, I've forgotten my piece, and I thank you for your patience. And I walked down, and amazingly, I received an applause. It is this that I'm referring to, dear ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the trust, the confidence of that teacher, the encouragement of the teacher, along with so many others, uh, is what has made me what I am today. Probably, if she had not done that, I would have never ever spoken in public again. Besides her, there are many other teachers I remember from way back 36 years ago, teachers who have gone beyond their syllabus to teach me lessons of life. And I thank them, along with my batchmates and all the others, very much today. It is truly said that nothing is lost as long as you can remember it. And today as I walked in, I may have lost contact with many of my batchmates because of geographical separations, time and space separations. But the moment I seen you, I had flashes of memories. Memories that were really, really awesome. And neither gray hair, nor bald patches, nor evolution into different shapes and sizes will ever be able to erase those memories. As we approach Christmas, um, celebrating God becoming human, reminding us that God comes to us through people, through events, reminding us that through the inspiration of people, through the love of people, through the encouragement of people, through the motivation of people, God comes to us. As I look back 30 years, I can truly say that I am convinced that through you, my teachers and my batchmates, I have experienced God. Thank you so much for making me what I am today. Thank you, St. Anne's.